don't know why we couldn't have left in the morning. You didn't have to come. Well, it's too late now. Dad would have found the note when we were runaways. London? Running away from home. Chris is going to be a model later on. She won a competition back home. It's a tough old racket. But whatever you do, don't get mixed up with backstreet photographers, the ones that advertise in notice boards. They'll promise the earth. Well, maybe I can help you find somebody to stay. A friend of mine, uh, Lex Rubens. Stop! If I ever saw that, you must see in the dark. She can. I'll get around. That's a nice bracelet. From Abby. It's a birthday. Abby, that's a funny name. Abby Dark. Abby Dark the singer. She's your girlfriend. We are lucky Johnny's mum letting out rooms. You're joking. I think it's nice. It'll do. For the time being. We might have been tramping around all day if it hadn't been for Johnny. You're falling for him. Don't be ridiculous. I hardly know him. Anyway, what if I have? He's been very kind. Well, you be careful. He's a sharp character. I remember Abby. Christine! Oh, come on. If we spend all day arguing about Mr. Johnny Dixon, we'll never get ready. So let's get changed. Oh, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? It's a bit old, isn't it? Of course it is, you silly bitch. It's antique. <gasps> Lady will share bed and breakfast. <laughs> Discipline given, Miss Turner. <laughs> Pussy for sale. Ask for Kitty. <laughs> Model. Good figure. Photography. Yeah, I bet. Not those. They're exactly what Johnny warned us against. I know. Uh, you go on to Labour Exchange. Well, what about you? Well, I'll see you back at the digs. Go on. Oh, go on. Sybil Waite, Wizard of Commercial Photography. Miss Waite has been responsible for discovering some of our most successful and beautiful to be a model? Yes, I know it won't be easy, but I saved enough money for a course. Can you advise me on the best place to go? In the meantime, the art photographic job would help you pay your way. If it's possible. Maybe. Maybe not. Still, you're a very attractive girl. You should photograph well. What's your name? Christine Lane. Christina? No, not Christina. Christine. Christina, I'm sure. Oh. I suppose it does sound better. Are you prepared to do nudes? There's a great demand for them these days. I can sell any product with a nude. Incredible, isn't it? Is it easier to get a job that way? To begin with, yes. Everybody does it. Well, if you'd better have a look at your figure, you can undress over there.
Do you have any photographs? I'm afraid not. You're going to need some. I'll see if I can get one of my boys to do some for you cheap. Thank you. Yes, your figure's very good. I'd better take a few measurements, just for the record. Thirty-six. Correct. But you'd be surprised how inaccurate some people are about themselves. I always check personally. Do you really think you'll be able to use me? I don't see why not. As long as you're prepared to be guided by me. Of course. You are a tiny thing, aren't you? I'd better make a note of these measurements before I forget them. You can get dressed again now. to be joking. Are they out of their minds? Where am I going to get the right girl? They were all booked up weeks ago. All right, yes. Yes, I shall just have to do my best. Yes, we could go to Witchworld. Look, you call me back later this afternoon and I'll let you know what I've been able to arrange, okay? Some people expect miracles. Miss Waite, I couldn't help hearing. Could I do the job? My dear child, this is an important assignment. It's one of our biggest clients. I don't mind how hard I work. I can learn fast. I'm sure you do. No, it's... Uh, the risk is too great. I won't let you down. It would mean working over the weekend in the country. I don't mind. A friend of mine has a lovely country house. It's the perfect location. Do I get the job? I'll think about it. You won't regret it. No, Johnny, please. Why? No. I... Oh, don't pretend you didn't want it because you did. No, but we don't know each other. No. Oh, what's up got to do with it? I've known some birds for years, but I've never fancied them like I fancy you. Well, what about Abby? Well, forget Abby. We're just friends, that's all. Hey, you're trembling. You really are a little Miss Innocent, aren't you? I'm not angry with you. What's it look like, stupid? Hey, come on, what's all this? <laughs> you know you're trouble. You're a very tired girl. You've been traveling all night. You've had a hard day looking for a job. It's no wonder you're depressed. I have to stop worrying. Okay? Everything's going to be all right. And where have you been all this time? Looking around. Got a job? Think so. Tell us for heaven's sake. No, not until I'm sure. Well, that leaves me in suspense. Because I've got to go to Manchester. Look, uh, I won't be back from Manchester till late Saturday night. But I'm doing nothing on Sunday, so why don't we take a drive? All of us. Lovely. I don't know. I may be working. 
On Sunday? Or we can if I get the job. Yeah, well, uh, you don't have to decide now, do you? I'll come over here if you're busy, me and Betty will go home. I'll look after yourself. Bye. Christine? What's the job? Modelling. Modelling? I was at the right place at the right time. Did you get the address off the notice board? Of course not. Sounds a bit funny to me, working over the weekend. Sybil, wait. We're taking a house in the country for the whole weekend. Christine, you're beginning to sound just like Dad. Well, come with me if you're so worried. Do you think they'll mind? And what about Johnny? We'll tell him to come down and fetch you. He wanted to go to the country. But you may not even get the job. I have a feeling I will. We're lucky today. Not too much traffic. I love the river. I hope you didn't mind me coming this way. Of course not, Betty. You can be Christina's chaperone. You've a great future, Christina. As long as you don't lose your head. I won't. I've seen so many girls spoil their chances. A little success and they think they know everything. I'm not like that, Miss Waite. Sybil, please call me Sybil. This is Witch World. Look over there. That's the old witch's ring. A witch's ring? Some parts of the village are quite historic. Here we are. Rather nice, isn't it? Well worth the journey. You didn't exaggerate. Gorgeous. This is Peter. Christina, Betty, her sister. Hi, Betty. Good trip? Very smooth. Not much traffic on the road for once. Oh, Wendell, take Miss Betty's cases up to her room. Uh, we can share them if you like. How soon can we start? There's a hell of a lot to do. You get set up, we're ready when you are. Christina, you come with me. I want to show you around. Gerald about it. My friend who owns the house. He's quite an authority on the subject. He even writes books about it. The witches used to dance up here at dawn. Some people say they still do. Yes. They do. sensible enough. But then I've thought that before. Then along comes some young man and... Mm. Not me. I'm a career girl. What? No boyfriends? I've been out with a few, but nothing serious. I don't want to be tied down. I must say, you don't exactly strike me as being the domesticated type. There's not a man living that could make me settle for that. What a beautiful garden. Honey scent. That's not that, it's the hemlock. It has a very heavy scent. Heavy effects too, if you believe all you read. 
Which shoes them in their bruise, don't they? You seem to know rather a lot about it. Are you interested in the supernatural? Oh, I don't know. It's as if I... No. I find it fascinating. So beautiful here. So much to see. I know. I try and get down every weekend if possible. Gerald only ever leaves this place if he has to go up to town to see his publisher. <laughs> Oh, Peter, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was so interesting showing Christina around. Well, you'd better have upstairs and get changed then. Something casual, jeans and shirt, that kind of thing. Uh, white shirt? Yes, that'll do fine. Yeah. Right. <sighs> now, what bright ideas have you for selling this cider? It's filthy stuff to drink. <laughs> well, I thought we might use the real apple. Well, what about this place? The place is great, but what about the housekeeper? Betty. And she speaks so highly of you. Yeah. Wait till you see the bathroom. You're going to have a bath now? No, modelling. Makes it very short. There's some, some action stuff now, okay? Um, turn right and start running. That's it. Jump, jump. No, be happy, happy. Laugh. Smile. That's great, that's great. Up on the wall. Look at the camera. That's great. Keep it, keep it. Run, run. No, hold it. Smile. Hold it. That's it. Now we'll move to the car. What's wrong? I'm trying to get an angle. Take those jeans off. That's good. Take the pants off. I thought this was supposed to be a cider act. We've got to have a build-up. Now take them off. You're the boss. Good. Good. Very sexy. Good. That's good.
Betty, are you all right? You look awfully pale. Oh, I have a bit of a headache. I thought I'd go out for a while. That's a good idea. The fresh air will do you good. Hold it, hold it. That's beautiful. Boy, you make it difficult to concentrate. Don't give me that. Photographing beautiful girls every day. You must be immune. Shows her something special about you. Are all your models expected to respond to your advances? Come on, we've got some work to do. What's the matter? Oh, it, it's nothing, really. Is your headache worse? Oh, no. No, it's much better, thank you. lives around here. Well, what's her name? I don't know. She seems to know you. Yeah, well, I've seen her in the village. Come on, we'll finish this session back in the woods. Be quieter there. Come on. And safer. It's all right, my dear. Lie still for a while. You had a nasty fall. Nothing serious, just shaking you up, that's all. Oh, by the way, my name's Amberley. Dr. Gerald Amberley. This is my home. You're a doctor. I'm sorry I wasn't here when you arrived. Sybil tells me you were running away, that you seem scared out of your wits. We usually find it so peaceful here. Oh, it is. The house is lovely. But? Oh, it sounds so silly now. Must have been very real to you at the time. You'll think I'm an awful idiot. Well, first there was the milkman. I was sort of dozing, and I found him standing there staring at me in a funny sort of way. How do you mean, funny? Well, I don't know exactly, but it frightened me. And then I went... I thought I'd go for a walk. And something else happened? Well, then there was this man in the drive. He had a gun. Colonel Crookshank. He came up to the house. He was very upset. He was afraid he'd frightened you. Oh, I thought... That they were... desiring you. Oh, it all sounds so stupid. Not at all. It was quite normal. There'd have been something wrong if they hadn't stared at you. You're a very pretty girl. Anyway, you mustn't think that men have the prerogative of sexual fantasies. Most young girls have them. Especially if they've led rather repressed lives. You've only just arrived in London, I understand. That's right. Parents rather strict. Not many boyfriends. <laughs> Dad never allowed them. You see? A textbook case. You are, I'm quite sure, a virgin. Yes. So are you saying I've imagined all this? Oh, it's just a phase. One day soon, you'll meet a nice young man, and he'll look at you in just the way you describe, and you won't mind at all. Now, don't you worry your head anymore. Promise? Promise. Good. Now then, I prescribe a nice, hot bath. Nothing like it for calming the nerves, hmm? 
You didn't mind me talking frankly to you, did you? Of course not. I feel better already. That's right. Off you go and have your bath. Great. Edward, that's it. Apple up. Beautiful. Let's nice have the leg up. It's a beautiful line. Let's stop it. Look, look, look down to me. Oh, boy. If he was half as lovely as you, it's no wonder man's where he is today. Lovely. Damn, I've run out. You've had enough for today, don't you? Hey, are you complaining about your lot? This particular moment. <laughs> I've got some great pictures, Sybil. You wait till you see them. That's what you're paid for, to take pictures. What do you think you're playing at? I'm sorry, Sybil. I just got carried away. Can you blame me? You keep your filthy paws off her. Come off it, Sybil. You paid me to do the job, and I did it. So we had a bit of fun as well. So what? I will not have you interfering in my affairs. So you've got your eyes on her yourself. But well, you can forget that in a hurry. Shut up. She's a normal, healthy girl. Be careful, Peter. S so you sack me. I warn you, Peter. If you cross uh, me... You Would you come up here a moment? I'd like a word with you both. She's not the one. There's another girl? Yes. If Gerald's happy with Betty, why not use her? Because I chose Christina specially. I warned you, Peter, you'll be sorry. Sybil, no threats. So there's another one. I still don't see why it has to be tonight. It's all arranged. There'll be a full meeting. Besides, it's Lummis. I shall perform the third rite. Hey, Chris, guess what I found? 
found downstairs. There's a cellar and it's decorated like a sort of chapel. Only there isn't a cross on the altar. There's whips and daggers and chains. It's awful. A witch's chapel. Do you think so? But why would Dr. Hamley have one in his house? Oh, it can't be. He's much too nice. Have you met him? Yes, I've had an awful time. First there was this milkman who kept staring at me. Then I found the chapel, and then there was this weird colonel, and he wasn't really a colonel, and Dr. Amberley said he was very sorry. Hold on, hold on. Did someone hit you on the head or something? How did you know? That's exactly what happened. Oh, he can't be a witch. They don't all ride around on brooms and wear pointed hats, you know. He's a doctor. Of course. Anyway, we'll soon find out. The doctors are respectable people. It all depends on what you call respectable. Don't worry. Everything will be all right. I'm here with you, remember? I should like to propose a toast to our two charming young guests. May this be the first of their many visits to Witch World. I hope so, too. You've all been so kind. Betty and I are having a marvellous time. I want you to feel at home. Oh, home is never like this. It's beautiful. This room, everything. It feels like Christmas with the candles and the wine. Not Christmas. Lammas. Yes, we celebrate Lammas tonight. What do you know about the Witches' Festival? Oh, not too much. Will you hold the ceremony down in the chapel? We will indeed. I didn't realize you'd been downstairs, my dear. Not me, Betty. She found it by accident. It sounds fascinating. Then it's true what Chris says. You are a witch. Perfectly true. Has that shocked you? Oh, no. It's just difficult to believe. <laughs> Yet you could easily believe I was a Roman Catholic or a Jew. Witchcraft is a religion, you know. One of the oldest. Perhaps the oldest. Do you worship the devil? Emphatically not. My coven practices white witchcraft only. We try to do good by it. Faith healing and that kind of thing? Sometimes. And on a simpler level, we exist for friendship. And to give pleasure where we can. I'm sure. Can I see your chapel? Certainly, my dear. I'll take you down myself. May I use the phone? Yes, of course. Well, it doesn't matter. I can do it later. Would you become a witch? Could I be one? If you have the true desire. I do. You're very receptive. Does that mean I can be a witch? There are some people who are born to be witches, born with special powers. You are one of them. That is the mask of the High One. That's you? No. You'll find the mask of the High One in every cover. And by ritual at the beginning of the ceremony, the High Priestess or High Priest will ask, who is the High One? I claim that degree in this coven. In some covens, it's been said down the years that the spirit of the High One appears and takes human form. And if he does? All must give way to him. Yes? We have a lot to prepare. For tonight? Can I join in? Oh, please. When the moment comes, 
You will hear the call. How will I know? Wait. Now I think you should have an early night. Your little sister, too. She needs a good rest after her fall. I'll make her one of my herb drinks. Go on. Quite amazing. I thought you'd be pleased. Do you think she's untouched? Virgins are hard to come by, as you very well know, Gerald. I was only thinking about the ritual. Technically, she should be. Technically? Oh, Gerald, you're talking to me, remember? I know more about witchcraft than you ever will. Agreed. You're one of the world's authorities. I've read every book you've ever written on the subject. Oh, you believe all right. And you have the knowledge. But you don't have the power, do you, Gerald? You are high priest in name only. But you recognize that power, don't you? That's why you let me turn this place into a working coven. White witchcraft. Faith healing. I will not meddle in the black arts, nor will this coven, do you understand? Of course. I'm sorry, Gerald, it was just Peter that upset me. Peter? Yes, he's after Christina. Just shows how wrong one can be, doesn't it? I was quite sure he was queer. But if she is a virgin, he could spoil her for the ceremony. That is your right as high priest. It won't spoil the ceremony. But you're right about one thing. I can recognize power. She wants to be a witch. Oh, my God, look what they've done to my screen. You I'm sure that left when I No, see where them. is it? Uh, she left it over there. Oh, look what they've done. Our little room has filled it. No, she didn't. Don't be nosy. Oh, stupid kids. Look, Betty said she was going to ring and uh, leave a number, has she? Not yet. Get it off. Is that where she got the job, Christina? Oh, I don't know. They were very excited. Are you still going with that, Abby? I, I thought you'd give her back that car and we're finished. What? So? So tell me about it. I found it in the car. Your car? My car, your car. What's the difference? We're going cool, Johnny. Yeah. We've got a problem. No problem. Sybil worked. Hmm. 
Runs a model agency. She's a big wheel. Sometimes I see deep in your eyes a promise that's hard in me. Are you sure about that? Ted, listen, I'm telling you, all the models have to wear armor plated pants. She's as less as they come. A friend of mine just gone to the country with her for the weekend. <laughs> well, that's one way of getting to know the facts of life. And I obey. I pay You know damn well That I'm in your spell Till life is done How can I be the one mm -hmm. To go Yeah, it's Johnny again. Yeah, I know it's late. No, I'm back in town this time. Listen, has Betty rung yet? No, you go back to sleep.
morning. What's wrong? Nothing. Did you call Johnny? No, I didn't. I heard you asked Sybil if you could use the phone. But you... I what? You didn't want me to. I never said a word. You know, you can do what you want. I know you didn't say anything. But I had the feeling you didn't want me to. <laughs> You're always getting strange feelings. Only with you, Chris. Oh, there's Peter. See you later. So a new ritual doesn't mean anything? Now I'm a witch. Now I can please myself. Chris, I'm worried. You don't know what you've got involved in. I should have warned you. I, I tried to, but... It wouldn't have made any difference. I played along with this witchcraft business to begin with because it suited me. And because Sybil asked me to. Well, she gave me my first break. Look, Sybil's main object is procuring girls for the coven. Well, what's the matter with that? Witchcraft can be a great power for good. Gerald told me. And if a doctor believes in it, there must be something. Huh. He's not a proper doctor. Just a doctor of literature. <laughs> well, don't tell Betty that. You're determined to put me off, aren't you? What does it matter what he is? He's a marvellous witch. And there's no harm in playing along with Sybil either. She warned me. If I ever touched you again... I know it's absurd, but... I never felt this way before. Chris. Well, why should she threaten you? She's jealous. She... She wants you for herself. Stupid. I told her you weren't like that. I should hope not. Then you don't think she's... Well, got the power to put a spell on me? Well, I don't know about that. But maybe I could put a spell on you too. A stronger one. You mean, did Peter make a pass at me? Yes. But I'm quite able to do with that. I told him to leave you alone. Please don't get worked up on my account. It would worry me more if boys didn't fancy me. Anyway, you're so young. You're going a long way, Christina. With me behind you, have no doubt about it. If I'm half as successful as you, I'll be happy. Has it helped you? Being a witch. The entire advertising industry is witchcraft, darling. The poor old public is permanently spellbound. I hadn't thought of it that way. And now that we're together, you and I, they better wash out. We're going to make a great team.
Am I disturbing you? Not at all, my dear. I was expecting you. See, I ordered coffee for two. Will you pour for me? Yes, of course. You play beautifully. You're very generous, but I don't play much these days. Black for me, please. Peter and Sybil are working on a new setup. I wanted to talk to you, to thank you. Come and sit by me. It was meant to be our meeting. I feel that too. For the last few days, I've had to do certain things, and they've all led me here. You have great gifts, Christine, a great power. You must use it well. You'll teach me. All I can. I want to show you something. You must have been studying witchcraft for years. Yes, I first became interested in university. There were so many theories. It takes a long time to get at the truth. To begin with, you can read this one. Black book? Black magic? You don't want to meddle with that. Then you really do believe there's something in it? Undoubtedly. Does Sybil get her spells from that book? Sybil? What spells? I don't know exactly. But Peter thinks she's put one on him. Why? He felt ill suddenly. Oh, perhaps he imagined it. Yeah, I expect so. Could I be High Priestess? Certainly. When you initiate another. I see no reason why you shouldn't form a cover one day. Find your own High Priest. Yes. Yes, you should do that. And uh, what about your sister? Is she interested in joining us? Betty, she'd be scared stiff. Oh, that's a pity. I feel we could do a lot for her. Bring her out of herself. Yes. Perhaps I could initiate her. Yes, perhaps you could. Of course, Sybil's high priestess for the moment. and don't know it. Maybe I am. Makes me a love potion for Johnny. Don't worry. He's coming. How do you know? I haven't called him of you. Chris! You look good with clothes on, too. Which one? You. How would you know? You did a soap ad for my agency. Where is it? What? Sybils, I've lost my way. Is this your first time down? Yeah, and the last if it's this to be what you like. Don't say that, you're right. 
It's about a mile on. You turn left down the drive by the cross and it's up in the woods. Uh-huh. Thanks. See you later. Yeah. Promise me you won't go away tonight. Even if Johnny comes and wants to take you back. You can be with him all day, but just don't go away tonight. That's not asking too much, is it? Of course not, but why? You knew he was coming. You promise? I need your help. I promise. Did you have any trouble finding the house? Did you have any problem finding the house? Yeah, you could see that. It's a long way from London. Yes, it is. <laughs> what are you smiling at? Nothing. Come on, what's so funny? Nothing's funny. But it's nice to know you came all this way to see me. Is it? <laughs> if it had been Christine, I could understand. Look, it's you I've come to see. Come on, let's get your stuff and let's go. I can't, so I promised Chris. Why? I don't know. I just said that I'd stay. I want you out of here. I don't like this place. And I don't like these people. What do you mean by that? Well, this Sybil wait for a star, she's the other way. What? She fancies birds. Well, it's not me she's interested in. It must be Chris. Maybe that's why she wants me to stay. Well, you don't have to play nanny for Christine. If she wants me to stay, I have to. Now, please don't let's row. She's my sister. Look, we're not having a row. You started to come with me, but if you want to stay with Christine... It's not that. She may need help. Look, she's a big girl. She can look after herself. She knows what she can do. I don't want you mixed up in it. <laughs> Look at you coming, aren't you? I can't. I promised Christine. Betsy! Hey, Christine, camera's this way. Just one more. Well, I better go and mark this up before I get muddled. I won't be long. Got some good pictures. Good. How much more have you got to do? Oh, only another three or four rolls. I'll get in in the woods later, OK? Mm. Good idea. Well, then. How do you like your first job? Fine. I'm very proud of you, my lovely. Christine. Peter said he'd be back in a moment. We're not worried about him, are we? Gerald wants to hold another Sabbath tonight. Yes, he told me. He wants me to initiate Betty. No. You could persuade her. Easily. You're not having Betty. 
She's not ready for the coven yet. You don't seem to understand, Christina. Once you join a coven, you must abide by its rules. And the first rule is obedience to your high priestess. Betty will be initiated tonight. Cancel tonight. No, I'll be all right. But I think I'll go and lie down for a while. was it? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Well, you do look pale. Why don't you lie down for a bit? I'm all right, I tell you. You're worrying about the ceremony. Why don't you let me help? You can tell me what to do. No. I'm High Priestess. Of course you are. But there's no point in cracking up over one Sabbath. Christina, why are you fighting me? That's ridiculous. Don't. Don't do it. I'm not. I shall be at the Sabbath tonight. Of course. Uh, call me if you need anything. <gasps> I don't care. You know how I feel about him. How far are you prepared to go to get him back? I'd do anything. Become a witch? No, I couldn't. Don't look at me like that, Chris. You know I don't like it. What would I have to do? You trust me. You won't be sorry. Just do what I say, and I'll get him back. 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 How is she? Much better. She wants to be initiated. I think you should make her one of your herb drinks. Betty is my sacrifice. The Sybil know?
I've been waiting for you. Have you? Well, I've got some news for you. I'm taking Betty away from here now. You've had one try. She wouldn't go. Why should she now? You can make her do just what you want, can't you? Well, that's going to stop. Because I'm going to take Betty out with me tonight, understand? So you think you're a more suitable companion? A cheap little ponce living off Abbey Dark. As you say, I can make Betty do just what I want. You do as I ask and I'll let her go. I want to see her. Johnny! You'll do what I ask, won't you?
Chris won't let me near you. I have a mind of my own. From now on, yeah. Chris can go to hell. Johnny, was it? It never happened. Thank you. 